Welcome to Scratch Coding. This is a series of videos to help you learn to code using Scratch. With Scratch, you can create your own stories, puzzles, and games, and whatever else you want to create. You're in control of everything in the programs that you write. Create a free account at scratch.mit.edu so you can do coding with us. Today, we're going to create something like this. Tap the penguin. It's a game. When you tap the penguin, it decorates your scene. I got six points. Let's create a new project and see how to do it. I'll remove Scratch Cat and pick a new character. I like the penguin. To start, let's make our penguin go to a random position. Let's make him do that 10 times. That happens way too fast. So let's wait one second in between him moving around. We're going to get a point every time we click on him. So when this sprite is clicked, we're going to score a point. How do we keep track of how many points we have? Let's look at the orange blocks, variables. A variable is like a container for your programs. You can use a variable to hold a number or some other information for you. The most important thing about today's lesson is that you learn how to make a variable and use a variable. Variables are very important when you're coding. Let's make a variable to keep track of our score. And we can simply call it score. It doesn't really matter. You can name it anything you want. But to help make your code make sense, it's good to use a name that reflects what it does. Now that we have a variable called score, it's available for us to use. The value of score is also on our screen now. We can set our variable to whatever we want. We can hide it. We can show it. But for our game, what we want to do is change our variable by one every time the sprite is clicked. You can see the scores going up. At the beginning of our game, we want to change the score to zero, so you have to start over. And start when the green flag is clicked. Let's see how that looks. Once he stops moving around, I can still click on him and keep racking up the points. So let's hide him when the game is over to be able to see him the way he looks. So let's look under the looks blocks. I can't tell how long I have left, and so I'm going to do a countdown. Let me make a new variable. We'll call it time. In the beginning, we're going to set time to 10. And in the loop, I'm going to count down on my time. Now I can see the score and the amount of time I have left. Let's see how that looks. I need to unhide him. Show. 
When I click the green flag, I want him to show again. And now my timer's counting down. I can see how much time I have left and what my score is. So that's the most important part of our game today. The rest of it is just for fun. Let's pick a backdrop. And some more sprites. I only want my other sprites to show up once I have some points, so I need to go to their code. Let's go to the code for the ball. When the green flag is clicked, I want them to hide. But when my variable score, I need an operator. If my score is equal to 1, then I want him to show up again. So when the green flag is clicked, this code is going to check the score and see if it's 1 and then show our first ornament. That's a problem because it's just going to do it once. It's never going to check again, so it'll never happen. I'm going to have to make it check and then check again and check again and check again. Let's see if that works. Yeah, it was gone until I got at least one point. So I don't really need this other win green flag clicked. I can stick the hide right in there. Now I don't have any code yet for the sun, the star, or the gift, but I can just go to the balls code and drag it and let it go on the gift. Drag it again, let it go on the star. And the same thing for the sun. So now when I go and look, the gift has code. Let's only get the gift when you get two points. And a star when you get three. And the sun when you get four. I'm going to duplicate some more presents and change a couple of them's costumes and make this one, you need five points to get this one. Duplicate the ornament a few times. and get a polar bear. He needs code. And we don't get the polar bear until we get eight points. All right, let's play it now. We got everything. If I wanted to make the game harder, I could make the penguin a lot smaller. Change size to 50 instead of 100. That's 50%. Oh, I see a problem. One last thing. Sometimes the penguin is behind the presents and we wouldn't be able to click on him.
we want him to go to the front. Back would be behind other stuff. Let's make him go to the front and see if that fixes it. Yes, he's in front of the presence now and in front of the sun. Time's up. Our variables work. Our game works. Now it's your turn. Get a character. Make him go to 10 random positions and try to click on him. Go to the orange variables and click on make a variable so that you can keep score. If you can create a game that when you click on your character, you get points, then congratulations. You've mastered this lesson. This free coding lesson was provided by STEM in Games. Watch more lessons and keep practicing so you can create new worlds and games and make your ideas come to life. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.